It's Sunday night in Paris, and that means it's football. Waiting all day for Sunday night. <laughs> Not that football, the real football. And today, it's Paris Saint-Germain versus AS Monaco. Let's go. I'm always interested in what the pregame culture of a big sporting event like this is, and particularly interested in what the food is like. So they had some street vendors selling some chicken kebabs um, on a sandwich, which is clutch, perfect. Uh, we were about to go to McDonald's and eat, eat something before the game, but this seems much better. You got some caramelized onions, some kebab in there, all on a fresh baguette, perfect. Bought these like sandwiches, went, across the street to get a drink, came back and the sandwich guy is gone. I think the uh, police came and probably booked him for not having a proper permit or whatever. So he had to go. But we got, we got our stuff just in time. So, I mean, I would say come check this guy out, but I don't know if he's gonna be here or how long, um, or if the police have made him disappear. And I'm sure there's a lot of problems in France. I'm sure there's a lot of other things the police could be focusing on. Just let the man make let the man make some money selling sandwiches. He doesn't have a permit. That is one of my one of my biggest uh, pet peeves of the Western civilized world. The rules and permits required to do just about anything. Just let the man sell his sandwiches. There's probably scammers, pickpockets all over here, selling fake tickets like we got in Argentina, pickpocketing unsuspecting tourists or vloggers. But a guy selling sandwiches, come on, just let him sell the sandwiches, man, please. How do you say? F the police en français. police! Just inside the main access and now I'm seeing why maybe the police wanted to shut down any unofficial food vending. Because inside the initial gate, there's a bunch of food trucks. So, uh, nobody gets their beak wet. Unless they're inside the PSG area, I guess. It'd just be a lot of tourists, which I'm sure there is, but there's actually vibe. There's like this whole section over here of the ultras. They're going hard, strong, loud, big. Ici c'est Paris. Walking into the Parc des Princes, home of Paris Saint-Germain Football Club, is like walking into the Louvre of football. Just a lot more fun and a lot louder. It's the only place where you can see three of the game's masters play on the same field. Kylian Mbappe, the Frenchman who is leading the next generation of football stars, Neymar, the dynamic and creative Brazilian, and the best to ever do it, Argentine Lionel Messi. Despite the current roster, the passion for PSG is bigger than any one, two, or even three players, even if one of those players' names is Lionel Messi. Before these three stars played for Paris and long after they are gone, the atmosphere, the song, and the drumbeat of PSG will be seen and heard from the south side of the Parc des Princes. Rubbish. 
surreal atmosphere inside the Parc de France. The spread of coronavirus, meaning that spectators absent. On March 11th, 2020, PSG played Borussia Dortmund in a Champions League match. It was one of the first sporting events around the world to be played in an empty stadium. PSG supporters making their voices heard outside the Parc de France. That night, these same supporters ignored the strict COVID-19 restrictions in Paris to celebrate the win outside the stadium. Even the players came out to join the fans in the celebration. And last year, when PSG secured the league title against Lille in the spring of 2022, fans walked out of the Parc des Princes before the end of the game in protest of how the team was being managed as well as their failure to win the Champions League. Okay, to put that into perspective, let's take my favorite American football team, the Dallas Cowboys. Now let's imagine for a second that they're just not living up to expectations and they fail to win the most important games every single year. I don't know what it is about the Cowboys, man. Okay, so you don't have to imagine that hard because that's exactly what happens every year. Now let's imagine AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, where the Cowboys play, emptying in the third quarter of the game when they're about to win the division. It just would never happen, right? I'm leaving. Leaving, leaving, leaving. L-E-A. V-E-N, That's because the relationship between team and fans is just different in club football. But as great as the vibe was inside the stadium, courtesy of the Collectif Ultra Paris, that wasn't the reason I came to watch PSG. I'm here to see one man, Lionel Andres Messi. Start crying because this is probably the last time I'm gonna get to see Leo Messi play in real life. It's actually, I'm actually getting choked up here because I've seen him play three times for Argentina, for uh, twice for Argentina, once for Barcelona, and this is probably the last time, unless he comes to MLS and plays in Toronto, that I'll actually get to see him play live. It's, uh, it might be an emotional day for me, but I hope he scores a goal. Last time I saw him in Barcelona, he scored a hat trick. So, uh, hopefully, it's him. hopefully it's the same this time. I'll lose my voice. Unfortunately, I wasn't seated on the side of the field where Messi usually works from. But still got to see some great action from Neymar and Mbappe up close. It was 1-0 Monaco up until the 70th minute when Neymar was awarded a penalty kick with the help of the video assisted referee. After a VAR check, a penalty was awarded on that Neymar dribble. So who's going to take it? Looks like, looks like it pop it. No, it's Neymar. The curling approach, the stutter, the strike into the corner! After that, there wasn't much in the way of action on the field. But as I was scanning the crowd at the Parc des Princes, I noticed this guy. He looked so familiar to me, and I just couldn't place him. Je suis pas forcément d'accord sur le fait. Enfin, les Harlem Globetrotters, c'est du spectacle, d'accord, mais il y a aussi. Only been in France for about a month, and I'm already recognizing local celebrities. I'm 99% sure that guy is from a sports show I watch every night. Here in, here in France called Equipe de Soir. I'm 99% sure that's him. Messi just got substituted, which means I will probably never see him on a football field ever again. End of an era.
I had no idea fans were this passionate about PSG. Paris is known for a lot of things, fashion, food, art, culture, but most people would never say they come here for football. But they should, because not only is the atmosphere inside the Parc des Princes incredible, the team itself is a reflection of all the other reasons people come to Paris. If you like this video, uh, hit that like button, share it, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.